Baby. Yeah. I'm missing you already. <laughs> Why don't you stay for another one hour with me, please? One hour? At least. I'll enter the traffic now. You know I'm trying to beat that traffic. Okay, I understand. Um, will you be coming over to my place tonight? Your place? Hmm? That hostel where you pack all those men. I don't even know where you see them. Of course not. But babe, you know they're my friends and some are friends of friends. There's nothing I can do. Eh, no problem. That's why I'm calling it a hostel. Okay, so do you want me to chase them away? No, I didn't ask you to chase them away. I'm only telling you why I don't like coming to your place. That's all. Alright, no problem. Just make sure you come back early so I won't uh, miss you so much. Aren't you going to work? Well, you know I'm my own boss. I could choose when to go and when not to go. Even if I want to stay the whole day without going, it's still fine. Sorry, yo, Mr. I am my own boss. Yes, sir. Hmm. One day will be like you. Yeah, I know, but I was just joking. Okay, I'm just going to chill here for a while before I leave. Okay, that's fine. So when I get back, I'll call you so you can come over. All right, no problem. All right, bye. Yeah. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Good morning, sir. Rubbish. What is it that this girl has done to you? Why do you keep on attacking her this they way? Just take a good look at her. She's just a dirty village girl. Come on. Come on. You don't have to speak to her in that manner. Mm. Eh, uh, madam, I bet we do clothes we give me make a wish yesterday. It's in my room, you can go and get it. I'll go later, my wish. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye, babe. Thank you. work today. And why haven't you been picking your calls? Hey, what happened? Looks like you've been crying. I caught him in the act. You caught who? In what act? I caught Larry and Ikaiti making love on my bed. What? The same Larry that you said hates her? Obviously that's what he wanted me to believe, so I don't suspect him. <sighs> wow. Ah, oh, come on. I'm so sorry. That guy is such a jerk. You know, I always believed there was something off about him. I gave him everything. My life. My heart, my body, my money. I mean, what did I do wrong? Is it my fault no, that no. I'm, I love? No, Chloe, it's not your fault. It's not. You are an incredible woman. That guy doesn't deserve you. Good day, sir. Yes, no. I'm just about coming to your office. Oh, all right. I I, I got to you brief, but yeah, what do you? Uh, so I wanted to drop with you last week. Oh, great, 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 great. Yeah, right. super sweet. Oh, this is the assignment I. Yeah, let me see. Yes, sir. Uh...
No, no, no. Why? The documents are not complete. Ah, uh, sir, that's because Miss Chloe hasn't submitted her report. Why has Miss Chloe not submitted her reports? No. Why has Miss Chloe not been coming to work? Um, <clears throat> sir, it's because she's not been feeling too well. Oh, yeah? So why has she not reported sick? She asked me to do that, but I forgot. My apologies, sir. Hmm. I hope it's not serious. No, it's nothing serious. It's just uh, a little sickness. No. A little sickness. Are you sure it's a little sickness? No. Or have you gotten her pregnant? What? <laughs> no, sir. I mean, Chloe is just my friend and colleague. Yes, no. My I have eyes everywhere. I see the way you cling to her, no. So it's not like that. We are just friends. If you say so. All right. Just help me wish I a quick recovery. I'll do that, sir. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll take this up and see what the, what you have done. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how about the document? Yeah. About yes. Yes. Um, see, um, I don't want to comment on this. Look, this is a new brief. Hmm? Okay, sir. Go through this. I want you to form your opinion on this. Then we'll work on it before Chloe comes back. All right, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. All right, stay. going to continue like this Chloe you know sooner or later you would have to move on with your life otherwise Mr. Austin said I should wish you a quick recovery You won't be able to imagine what happened today at the office. It's obvious that you're not in the mood to talk. I'm sorry for disturbing you. I've been cracking my head. Trying to figure out what I did wrong. I learned how to cook his best meal. I cooked for all his friends and their girlfriends. I even learned new sex styles so that our sex life wouldn't be boring. I did all of that. And he's... He cheats me. I don't know. Hey, Do not blame yourself for Larry's stupidity. He's just a big asshole. Look. Even if you cook for his whole family, 
or you give him 30 billion naira or dollars or whatever, or even break your spinal cord just to satisfy him in bed, he's still going to cheat on you because that is who he is. Listen, Chloe. You are a beautiful woman in every way. You're smart, intelligent, and hardworking. Sometimes I just wonder why he cheated on you with a housemate. But then I remember that he's a pig. And you are a pearl. I know what the Bible says. That when you give pearls to pigs, they would definitely abuse it. Chloe. Look at me. You are a pearl. You should never ever allow anyone make you think that you are otherwise. Okay? It's okay, come on. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. The trip? Where did I go? Wasn't I home all this way? Well, your body was home, but your mind was in Sorrowland. <laughs> Sorrowland? Are you even serious? <laughs> you have no idea how I feel and how happy I am to see you smiling again. Thank you, Noah. I must really say thank you. You've been such a good friend to me. Oh, come on. I mean, what are friends for? All the same, thank you, because I would have still been in Sorrowland, like you said. <laughs> ah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, but you... Uh, Miss Chloe? Oh, sit, sit, sit. Thank you, sir. Yes! Uh, your um, nun told me you were sick. Yes, sir. I was a bit under the weather. <laughs> like a fever. <laughs> Are you sure it was just a little fever? Or Noah has caught a gold? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Nothing of that sort. We are just good friends. That's exactly the same thing I said. <laughs> Oh, don't mind me, I was joking. It's good to have you back. Thank you, sir. And now you're back, you have a lot of work to do. I know, sir. Mm -hmm. And you have just this weekend to catch up because I would like to have that on my table first thing Monday morning. Sure, you'll have them on your table on Monday morning, sir. Great! And, um... A new marketing strategist will resume work with you on Monday morning and both of you will share this office? That, that's fine, sir. That's okay, sir. Great, great. Good to have you back. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. See you. Yes, sir. Please, let me just go back to Sorrow Landry because this stress land is not going to pay me at all. <laughs> uh -uh. I swear you're a clown. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Who is it? The devil helped you insert it? Baby, I can't even explain how any of that happened. But thinking about it now, I am very sure that girl must have used Kayamata on me. Yes, 
Because that is the only way I can explain why I would cheat on you with such a dirty Stop. thinking. Stop! You think I'm stupid? Because I loved you? You think I'm stupid? Loved me? Wait, are you saying you don't love me? Oh, you expect me to still be in love with you? A lying, cheating man? Who I caught in bed with my own maid? That was a mistake. In my bed? That was a mistake. A mistake? Yes. A mistake you called it? Yes. Let me tell you. Ekaite confessed to me after I fired her that it wasn't the first time. Neither was it the tenth. I blamed myself. I blamed myself after it happened. Until Noah spoke to me and I realized that I'm too good to be with a pig like you. I'm so sorry about everything. Please. Do you know what you're going to do? You will get up. You will go to that door. Walk away and never return. I don't want to ever see you here again. Because if I do, you would not like what I'll do to you. Hey, listen, I may be as gentle as a dove, but if you push me, I can be as dangerous as a venomous viper. Get out! Get out! kidding me <laughs> so you mean after what he did he had the guts he had the boldness to come to your house <laughs> listen to this one. he said that he showed that a kaita used kayamata for him that he didn't do it with his clear eyes <laughs> <laughs> it's not only kayamata it's yokozuna he didn't do it with his clear eyes but he was able to locate the hole with his clear eyes listen i told you don't come close to me because <laughs> the next time you do you won't even like what i'll do to you <laughs> Claude, don't mind him He's just a fool. And guess what? You know, I'm so grateful it happened while we're dating. Because if we're already married, it would have been a different ball game. Yes, it would have been worse. Yes. I just thank God he's out of your life. I mean, he doesn't deserve you. Now you are at least available for a good man. Man, <laughs> no, not thinking about that right now. Honestly, my heart is locked and I've thrown the key away. I am not interested. All I want right now is to work, make money and be comfortable. Ah, oh, come on, Chloe. You still need a man in your life. Well, I don't need a man to make me happy and all my exes have proven that. None of them have been able to make me happy. But not all men are like your exes. Of course not. I mean, look at you. You are, you are a fantastic man. You are a good man. You are like every woman's dream. Come to think of it, why don't you have a girlfriend? It's just unfortunate I can't date you. But you know you're like a brother to me. Let's just imagine what that guy was saying. Same thing. Um, oh, we can have the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna have the same thing, yeah? Okay, yeah, that's fine. She has friend zoned me. And that means there is no hope. Relax now. It is not that bad. It is bad. As a matter of fact, it is worse. Because I have been demoted from a friend zone to a brother zone. <laughs> is there a difference? Of course there is a difference. Friend zone is better than brother zone because at least you still have hope of asking her out. But brother zone? That is the land of no return. When your brother zoned, it means that she can get naked in front of you and expect you not to get an erection. Mm. That's actually worse. Right. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe I should just tell her exactly how I feel. Mm -mm. Don't rush. Just take it slow. Keep being friends with her. Alright, when the time is right, 
it will happen naturally. I hope so. Okay, yeah, come in. Miss Corey? Yeah. So? Yes. Yes. Wilson. You know each other? Uh, yes, we do, sir. We we're actually coursing it back in the university. Oh, great. That serves me the burden of much introduction. <sighs> uh, that's the marketing strategies I told you about. I want both of you to work on a project I am expecting. Sure, sir. Consider it done. Great! Then I leave both of you to catch up on old times. Miss Boy, what is it? Thank you, sir. Hmm. Whatever happened to you? I mean, you just disappeared into thin air. I've been trying to reach you for years. You rushed out. What's going on? I can't work with him. I can't work with him. You can't work with him. I can't work with Wilson. You just relax and sit, Chloe. <laughs> just sit down, relax. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, who is who? Who's Wilson? Wilson is a strategist that Mr. Austin just brought. Oh, ah. Uh. He's the marketing strategist that Mr. Austin said would resume work today yes. and would share office space with you. Okay. But why don't you want to work with him? Is the space too small it's for both of you? It's not about the space. He's my ex. Your ex? Yes. We dated for four years. Really? But how come you never told me about him? It's a memory I want to erase for the rest of my life. Is it really that bad? Or did you catch him with your maid today? I'm sorry, no jokes. Wilson and I dated for four years. From my first year in the university to my last. Until I caught him with my best friend on our final year dinner. At least with Larry, he was with someone who wasn't close to me. But we'll say, he was my best friend. My best friend. Wow. That's really bad. I'm really so sorry. You have gone through a whole lot, guys. Wow. I don't want to remember it. I don't want to remember. I don't want to have the memories anymore. It's okay. It's alright. Okay. You know what I would do? I will talk to Mr. Austin. I'll try and convince him to separate both of you from the office. But, you know you have to be patient. It's not going to be immediate. I know. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. It's okay. It's all right. Thank you. Ah, Chloe. Listen, I, I'm, I'm so excited to see you. How have you been? Well, I'm not excited to see you. Actually, seeing you now has messed up my entire day. Why are you talking like that? Wait, hold on. Don't tell me that you're still upset with what happened on our graduation night dinner party. 
Besides, I clearly stated to you that, I mean, like, there's nothing... <laughs> I'm not interested in whatever it is you have to say. Listen, I've had a very bad day and I don't want to make it worse. So if you know what's good for you, stay away from me and stay in your lane. But I thought we were supposed to be working together. So you mean Mr. Austin refused to separate us? Yes, he did. He said that your personal issues are none of his business. What kind of problem is this? I have tried to avoid Wilson all these years. I even blocked him on all my social media platforms only for him to come and walk under the same roof as me. What kind of problem is this? The painful thing is we don't even know for how long. But with the way Mr. Austin sounded, it's like it's going to be for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Noah. Noah, for his own sake. Thank you. He better change his mind. He better change his mind because I will not talk to Wilson ever in that office. Not to talk or walk peacefully with him. So for the good of him and his company, he better change his mind. He had better separate us all. So if you know what you want to go and tell him, no, go and tell him he had better separate us. I will not work with Wilson. I won't. I mean it. It's okay. Take it easy. Uh -uh. Just be following me everywhere. Uh, Mr. Wilson, good morning. Please, uh, how many cartons should I load in the car? Uh, I don't know. You're going to have to ask Miss Chloe. Miss Chloe, good morning. Good morning. Please, how many cartons should I load in the car? Is Mr. Wilson not here? Didn't I... you see him? Why didn't you ask him? I asked him. It's I should ask you. People just go about acting like children. Just act, acting like kids. So you just start with the big ones. Everyone, Excuse you? Ones. Who are you talking to? Who are you referring to? Who is acting like a kid? Well, are you not acting like a child? Since I came into this office, you have refused to talk to me. That is childish behavior. And why should I talk to you? Give me one good reason why I should talk to you. Do you not know that I detest you? So wait, Chloe, you actually hate me that much that you're willing to let that feeling come in between you and your actual job. Really? Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't just hate you. I also detest the ground that you walk on. You know, when I first got here and you started with this whole behavior, I thought maybe this was because of how things ended between us. But now it's very clear to me that you're actually very frustrated. So I'll give you a piece of advice. Why don't you take that frustration somewhere else? Maybe like a psychiatric hospital or something. You're not talking to me. I'm talking to you. You are not talking I to me. I am talking to you. You are going to regret this. Trust me. I promise you. Chloe, what's up? Why are you so angry? That Wilson, he's really gotten on my last nerve. And if Mr. Austin doesn't separate us, I swear I'll kill him with my bare hands. It's okay, it's okay. Just relax, okay? It's alright. It's alright. <clears throat> you guys do realize that this is a working environment and not a hotel room. Right. Are you mad? Are you mad? No, I'm just saying this is an office. This sort of behavior is quite unprofessional. Besides, it's kind of making me uncomfortable. This makes you uncomfortable? <clears throat> you know what, I, um, I'm just gonna go talk to Mr. Austin and ask him to find me a new office because I don't think I can handle this sort of unprofessional behavior in a workspace, so. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do that. <clears throat> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why is he angry? I don't know and frankly, I don't care. All I know is I found something to get him upset and I'll use it to frustrate him. <laughs> you are not safe. <laughs> Please sit! So, oh, I should sit. I'm gonna check out the files you know, we won't talk about. You know, oh, my sister right to you.
Ah, welcome, sir. Hassan. Sir. Why are these curtains not packed? Sir, it's me, Miss Chloe and uh, Mr. Wissino. What do you mean is Miss Chloe and Mr. Wissino? Are they the ones to load these cartons into the vehicle? No, sir. But they're supposed to tell me the, the number of the carton I will load. And haven't they done so? So I meet uh, Mr. Wilson. He sent me to Miss Chloe. And I went to Mr. Miss Chloe. He sent me back to Mr. Wilson. And uh, they're just confusing me. And I'm confused. I don't know what to do. That's why I seated here. Why are these people allowing their issues to affect my business? In my company? What other nonsense is that? I won't have it. I will not have that. Hello, Chloe. Hi, darling. It's lunch time. Are you ready for lunch? Uh, sure, absolutely. Let me just um, hibernate my sister. And I am ready to go. <laughs> to lunch with the love of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just give me a second. <clears throat> Can't wait. <laughs> go. Lunch with the love of mm -hmm. my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How long will you continue doing this? For as long as it annoys him. He has to leave that office. He has to leave that office for me. But what if he doesn't leave? Then I'll continue to find ways to annoy him. He must leave this company. <laughs> Honestly, did you see the way he looked? Did you see the way he felt? When, when I kissed you, I mean... It felt good. Uh, what felt good? Was it a kiss? No, of course not the kiss. I mean... The way he, he looked, you know, the anger I could see in his eyes. Yeah. So, when you kissed me, you didn't feel anything? <laughs> no, of course not. You're like a brother to me. How can I feel something kissing you? Don't be silly. Let's go. There is no hope again, no. All my hopes have been smashed. How is it that she didn't feel anything after kissing me? Relax, Noah. It's a gradual process. At least just kiss you now. What kind of useless kiss is that? A kiss that she gave to me to make another man angry. Look, she's toying with my emotions. Does she think I'm, I'm some poop that she can just use whenever she wants? You know what? I can't take this anymore. I think the best thing to do is just to tell her exactly how I feel so she knows what she's doing to me. You can't do that now. If you try it, you lose her completely. How am I going to lose her? Because she's free and comfortable around you. She can tell you everything, right? But the moment you tell her your intentions, she begins to see you as an admirer. That's true. I think you have a point there. I at least have a point. Don't rush things so you don't destroy everything. Just take it slow and creep it slowly into your heart. Hello to the most beautiful woman in the world. Hi, my darling. Hi. <laughs> How was your night? Well, it was nice, but I stayed up all night thinking of you. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Me too. 
I got you something. <gasps> you did? <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you like it? <gasps> Do I like it? I love it. It's so nice. Wow. It looks so beautiful on you. Oh. oh. Thank you. <laughs> Alright dear, so uh, I have to return to the office. I'll see you during lunch, okay? Sure, I can't wait. <laughs> Bye, sweet Bye, cakes. Darling. Cupcake. Sugar plum. <laughs> see you later, alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, correct me if I'm mistaken, but I believe that office romance is against company policy, right? Because it looks like I'm going to have to report you to Mr. Austin because I can't sit here and watch you and that guy turn my office into some sort of like a, a love nest. Your office? Listen, this is my office and I can do whatever I damn well want to do with it. I can even have sex with him here if I want. But we dare not do that. You want to try me? Yes, I'm looking at the document right now. Yes, everything looks okay. What are nonsense are both of you doing? Look, I do not care if you both have issues. That's your personal business. But don't bring it near my company. If you know you cannot work together, please tell me so I can fire you! I will not watch my company suffer because of your discrepancies. If you can't put your issues aside and work professionally, submit your resignation letters. And let this be the last time I will hear that the task is on hold because of both of you. Am I clear on this? Now, this is the document for our new product. I expect both of you to come together and work and devise a marketing strategy for it. I give you one week to do that. At the end of this one week, you either come up with a formidable and convincing marketing strategy or submit your resignation letters. Have you seen what you've caused? Have you seen what you've caused? I hope you're happy now. What do you mean what I've caused? Am I the one who has been acting unprofessionally? Well, maybe I'm acting unprofessionally because you're just annoying me. As a matter of fact, you're the one who's annoying yourself. Hmm? You know what, the first day I walked into this office and saw you, I was actually excited thinking that I've run into an old friend who could just uh, catch up on old times. I had no idea that you still had a grudge for something that happened many, many years ago, Chloe. Many years ago, you say? But it's still very fresh in my memory. The moment you walked through that door, I felt it like it was yesterday. I remember that night. Chloe, I have told you this a million times. Nothing happened, all right? Nothing happened. Well, I am not interested in anything you have to say. Well, it's fine. You don't have to be interested. And I, I, there's nothing I can say to, to get you to, to feel different. But listen, we have a job to do, all right? I don't want to lose my job. So whatever it is that's going on with you, let's just put it aside and deliver on this. You and I know that Mr. Austin does not bluff. Can we at least do that? thinking about? I was just thinking about what Wilson said. Oh. Well, honestly, I don't think it's a bad idea to keep malice with him. But you both are working on a project. You have a project to work on. Sooner or later, you have to talk to him. Yes, I know that you're still hurt. 
and you're trying to hurt him. But for the sake of the job, you'd have to bury the hatchet and work with him. You're right. I mean, I can't um, avoid him forever. Thanks for the advice. You're always a darling. Thanks, darling. I thought. <laughs> but there's no Wilson here, so there's no one to annoy. Never mind. <laughs> um, what's your account number? What do you want my account number for? Oh, since we're done with this love in Tokyo thing, I might as well pay for the necklace. Uh, no, no, just that. Uh, <clears throat> don't worry about that. Just keep it. It's actually a gift. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. You are such a darling. I mean, who needs a boyfriend when I have a friend like you? <laughs> Thanks. I've been waiting for the right time. Is the waiter coming? Waiting for the perfect moment. Oh, no, no. And if you look into my eyes, waiter. you will realize I want more. I, want you, babe. I don't want to waste your time. Let me hit the hammer. Well, <clears throat> after much um, consultation, and deliberation, I've decided to stop keeping malice with you. I'll talk to you, but our talk can only be business-based and for the good of the company. You're not my friend, and I am not your friend too. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, I mean, it's, it's just the way you said it. You're not my friend, and I'm not your friend too. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Are you making jest of me? Oh, no, no, I'm not. I apologize. I'm sorry. You better. Like I said, I'll talk to you, but only for work. We are not friends. I still detest you. Okay, no problem. But um, at least now we are on talking terms. If you ask me, I would say that that's the uh, step in the right direction. Right? <clears throat> Claude, you know what I'm thinking? What? You know, as opposed to just unveiling the product immediately, you know, we could actually create adverts that would pin the consumers on so, um, the product not necessarily giving them all the full details. You know, create this anticipation, this what's coming marketing strategy. So that way, eventually, when the product launches, wildfire, they would rush it because they've been expecting it for a while. What do you think? Mm, it's a good idea. However, don't you think that's double spending? Because first, you have to spend money to uh, make people aware that a product is coming. Then, when the product actually launches, you still need to spend more money to get the product out there. You have a point. Mm -hmm. so, so what I'm thinking is, why don't we let the consumers advertise the products for us? Okay, how so? Create videos post on your social media handles, advertise the products, um, you know, tell people about it, tell people to buy it. Then the post with the highest likes, tags and views wins at the end of the day. That's actually a brilliant idea. That way we can get a lot of views. Huh? Additionally, we would also create like a promo code, right? So when people buy these products from them using their promo code, whoever has the highest purchase from the promo code also wins. You're right. And additionally, we can give them a price, an incentive at the end of the day. The prize money or prize gifts could be a whole year's supply of the product. This, this is great. Hmm. Additionally, I'm just like I'm brainstorming right now, so mm -hmm. I'm thinking we could also like get like influencers, right? To talk about yes, that could work. You know, I think this strategy is terrific. Of course it's terrific. It came from an intelligent mind. Yes, it did. You've always been as intelligent as before. <laughs> of course. Once intelligent, always intelligent. Chloe the brainiac. <laughs> Listen, do you remember that one time that you corrected Professor Edwin during the MRK 415 class? Of course, honey. I asked him not to do it again. That <laughs> it's not my me. <laughs> no, the funniest part when he was like, you know that's his voice, like, young lady, whatever I teach you, whether I am right or wrong, you must take it who like like and sick. Like, don't, like, don't mind him. Don't mind him. So because he's my lecturer, or because he's older than me, then whatever he says is final. <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. 
It actually feels good to remember those good old days. I know, right? <laughs> but my best memories are from the times that I spent with you. Don't start. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Hey, Chloe. <clears throat> so, are you ready for lunch? Oh, I'm sorry. I have a project proposal I need to put together right now. So I can't. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, in that case, I'll just get you takeaway. Oh, thanks. That would be nice. All right. Hey, Noah, uh, sorry. I was going to ask, um, if it's not so much trouble, could you also please get something for me? All right. So just get get the beam on the video. Very much I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Noah. <laughs> this is your boyfriend must really like you. See the way he looked at you to get your content before you even accepted it. He's not my boyfriend. He's just a friend. He's just a friend. Yes, both of you have been playing lovey-dovey since forever. To make you angry? Really? Why? To get you out of this office, of course. <sighs> oh, wait. That, oh, all of that is over, right? Um, anyway, as I was saying, I, I think the strategy is tremendous. Yes. It will have a wide reach, so. 100%. You're telling me that you still need to like, when you try to take all the shine. You <laughs> brainstormed on this thing together, and now you're making me look like, hey, hey Chloe, are you ready to go home? Oh, no, no, no. I'm still working on that project proposal. I need to hand it in tomorrow, so. Okay, so. I'll see you tomorrow then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> um, I thought we're already done with the act. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just, uh, I thought we were just still trying to uh, No, 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 no. That's, that's just done. Uh, All right, see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Bye, Noah. Bye. <laughs> Are you done? You know what? Honestly, I'm not. Maybe thinking about it now, I think I should just stop and continue tomorrow. I need to get home, take a shower, sleep, eat. So no outing with the real boyfriend? You're beginning to cross your boundary. I thought we said our discussions would be work-based. <clears throat> Sorry, apologize. Hi. What happened to your car? I don't know. Just wouldn't start. And I've been calling my mechanic, but he's not picking. Well, I am not a mechanic. So what I would suggest is we leave it here. I can take you home in my car and tomorrow I'll have my mechanic come check it out. Is it safe? Ah, uh, it's safe. I know this neighborhood. It's very safe. Okay, let me get my bag. All right, do that. Would you? Yeah, sure. I got you. Okay. Okay. Get the door for you. <laughs> Thank <Hello>. you. <laughs> okay. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for the ride. Ah, come on, 
don't mention this man. <laughs> please, have a seat. Let me fix you something to drink. That would be lovely. Alright, please. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. So do you live here alone? Yeah. I live here with my mind, body, soul, and spirit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never lost your sense of humor. It was one of the things that attracted me to you in the first place. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Um, it's getting late. And you have to be at the office early tomorrow. Yes, you're absolutely right. I probably should stop. You know, heading home. Yeah, but thank you for the drink. Oh, it's nothing. Thank you for the ride. It's nothing. Yeah. It's the least I can do for the tester. <laughs> <laughs> so I will see you at the office tomorrow? Definitely. Right. Okay. Have a good night. Good night. I'll get the door. <laughs> Bye. So we'll get Hassan right, to pick them up. Oh. Uh, both of you are getting along again. It helps me the stress of having to sign your resignation letter. <laughs> well, um, I hope you have been able to come up with some strategy for the new product. Yes, sir. Um, I came up... We came up with a strategy that would blow your mind, sir. Really? Yes, sir. Trust me, this strategy will put this product in the faces of everyone. Well... Um, uh, where's this document then? Oh, it's in my... It's in our office. Uh, we wanted to supervise them yes. to pack all the patterns and everything into the yeah. truck. Uh, leave this one. Hassan will do them. I, I can't wait to see what the document looks like. Please, please, please. I want to see what two of you came up with. Okay, uh, let's go. Shall we? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> this strategy is awesome. Is designed to make customers promote us. <laughs> and with this strategy, you know, we will not only reach out to our customers, we will go beyond into the sphere of those within their contacts. Well, that's the idea, sir. You have done well. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. You have done well, both of you. I'm impressed. Um, I know another thing. If this strategy brings in the expected income, I will increase your salaries, both of you. Yes. Yes. Thank you, sir. Honestly, you have done well. Well done once again. Let me get to work on it immediately. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! I'm glad you like it. Of course you would like it. Listen, it's an amazing strategy that came from a brilliant oh, mind. It was from both of us. We both did it. If you say so. Yes! yes! <laughs> I'm so glad you liked it. Woo! Wow. Hey That's guys, right. what's happening? I, I heard you guys screaming. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Austin liked the strategy we put up. For real? Yeah. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. I know what that means. What? It means that you are buying lunch so we could celebrate. Oh, that's fine by me. <laughs> are you ready to go? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I think I'll um, just put this on. Do you mind coming with us for lunch? Me? No, the lady behind you. Of course it's you, silly. Oh, um, sure. Why not, sir? I don't Great. mind. Can we grab my bag? <laughs> Let's go. All right. You don't feel not that no, bad. I don't like my part. Well, I mean, you can have mine if you want. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm, okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Like, I thought you were actually going to say, you know, mm. how, how you like to, how you like to, how you like to present like. I you know. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Mm. Try mine. No, 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 no. I don't like that part. I prefer his own. He's going to cut more for me. Got you. Yeah. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. So, are you still into photography? Oh, yeah, I am. Well, that's pretty much part time right now. Mm. You know, developing marketing strategies is what's paying the bills. So, you know how it is. I got you. Mm -hmm. Developing marketing strategies is a job. But photography is your passion. You just hit the nail right on the head. <laughs> what about you? Do you still bake? Mm, not really. I mean, just occasionally. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you remember that time when I came back? Chloe, have you submitted the inventory to Mr. Austin? Of course I have, since. You were going to say something. Yeah, I was going to ask if you remember the time. Of course! Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Yeah, I wanna be only me in the bed. Not the friends on me. No, no. I thought the other guys make a break of That closeness. It's becoming disturbing. I thought you said she hates me. Yeah, she does. Oh, she did. Look, I really don't know what to think. But the way she's been acting recently. I'm starting to think that she's beginning to like him. Relax now, relax. I don't see him as a threat. He's fast becoming one. You needed to have seen the way they were gisting and, and laughing when we were having lunch. They looked like an actual couple. Uh, come on now. Don't you think you're exaggerating things? No, no, no. I'm not exaggerating this. I was even trying to keep a conversation with her, but she kept giving me a one-word response while she was gisting and laughing with him. Hmm. That's serious, though. You know what? I'm going to tell her exactly how I feel. It's better that she stops being friends with me after I tell her how I feel than for me to die in silence. That's true. I, I think so, too. Yes. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll tell her. Right. Thanks, bro. Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh. I love you, I love your friends on me. Yeah. Girl, I wanna be more than just a friend or the friends on me. Yeah. I wanna be all the way in the bed. Not the friends on me. No, no. Maybe Come in, maybe pink. That would be much better. How are my favorite star doing? We're doing very well, sir. <laughs> Lady Chloe, sit, 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 sit. <laughs> okay. Um, is it just me or you kind of look unusually excited? Oh yeah, sir, it's because I got an unusual news that got me unusually excited. And uh, what news is that? Well, I got information from our warehouse that we've exhausted our stock. <gasps> Well, that's great that's news, great. sir. It is great news. I know. Outstanding thing. It's, it's just one week. So imagine what would happen in one month. One year. <laughs> the figures are too big for me to even imagine. They are big. And you know, it was your ingenuity that made all this possible. Both of you. So, sir, does that mean that we should um, expect a raise? Of course. Definitely. If I don't increase your salaries, whose salary would I increase? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You both made this possible. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You. Thank you, sir. I'm really impressed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me excuse me. Yes. Hey, guys, this is quick. Uh, what's the excitement for? We got a race. A race? Yes. Yes. Wow, that's great news. Congratulations. Yes. That's great news. We're super, 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 super excited. <laughs> um, Chloe, I would love to see you privately. There's something very important I need to discuss with you. Right now, I can't hear you. Oh, my excitement. <laughs> yeah, I understand, but it won't take long. Please, not now. Let's talk about it later. Please. 
Um, okay, so I'll just come back after a close of work. Sure, why not? Right. Yes. Congrats again. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> we did it! You know, you know what this calls for? <gasps> Celebration. Yeah, right? absolutely. So what do you say you know, we hang out after work and celebrate? Sure, sure, why not? Right? Yes. Okay, I can't walk anymore. Wow. <sighs> hey, Chloe. Hi, Clara. Are you ready to go home? Um, yeah, just packing up my things. Okay, let me just wait for you then. Yeah, don't be in need for that. Why? Because oh, I'm going out to celebrate with Wilson. <laughs> but I thought I told you that there was something important I wanted to discuss with you after work. Why, why, why can't you say it here? You can talk to me here. This is not exactly the right place to say it. But tomorrow? Tomorrow is the weekend. Go over to the house. You know my house, you're free to come. Yeah. Alright, uh Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Okay. Don't be friends on me. Yeah. Girl, I wanna be more than just a friend. Listen, I told you that strategy was going to be the bomb, did I not? It wasn't just a bomb, it was an atomic bomb. <laughs> you know, you never cease to crack me up, ever. Well, maybe I should join comedy to my side hustle. Mm -hmm. Who knows? That could be the next funny bone. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to make you laugh again. Kind of reminds me of old times. Don't start. Don't start what? Obi, why do you always get upset when I make reference to our past relationship? Because I don't want to remember. Why do you not want to remember it? We made such great memories. We did. And I've told you a million and one times, I never slept with Anne. Yes, she tried to seduce me, but That's I never gave it. Then why are you upset? I was raped! That... That night... After I saw you and Anne... I was devastated. So I needed to go someplace where you wouldn't find me. So I went to that, that uh, deserted lecture theatre. That was where the cold was. <laughs> The cold boys came. They harassed me and draped me. No wonder I couldn't find you. I went to every female hostel. I called all your friends. No one seemed to know where you were. I'm so sorry. I hated myself after that incident. And I blamed you for it. We are so soon. I had absolutely no idea that, that such a thing even happened. Please forgive me. It's so fresh in my memory. I have nightmares. I can't seem to forget. I'm sorry I caused you that much pain. I'm so sorry, please just forgive me. Enough of the tears. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're here to rejoice, not mourn. No, no Chloe, there are things that happen in our lives that we just wish they never occurred. And that day is one day that if I could go back in time, I would erase it from history entirely. I'm so sorry that I hurt you. It's okay. I mean, I feel better. I feel better that I let it out. I've carried this in my heart for three years. I feel free now. I want to make you a promise, right? I promise you that I am never going to hurt you or even do anything that will put you in harm's way. I 
I promise. Wilson, you know you didn't have to follow me all the way home. Oh, come on. With everything you told me, I just I feel the need to protect you. Yeah, this is not Uniben. I know that, but there are still bad people out there. And this time, if they decide to try any rubbish, they're going to have to go through <laughs> me. With your amateur taekwondo skills? Oh, no. Don't let the suit and the tie and the shirt and all of that packaging fool you. I am Wilson Chan, <laughs> as in Wilson Jackie Chan. I've got skills. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> So, what is your plan for tomorrow? Ah, uh, nothing much. Just maybe, just chill. Or maybe bake and chill. <laughs> Ooh, might you be baking some of your delicious muffins? And can I come around and have a taste? Um, yeah, but I just wasn't going to bake a lot. So. Well, I could help you. I mean, have you forgotten we used to bake together? That's true. So, in that case, I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds perfect. Thank you. Better be on my way. All right. All right well. Oh, thanks for bringing me home and walking me into my living room. Nothing. <laughs> All, right, good night. All right. Good night. Ciao, ciao. Oh, no, 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 I do not go by that name today. For today, I shall be called Secret Chef de la Vozon. Ah, it's not de la Vozon. It's Baba Frayou. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some wine to go with my Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. Thank you. You're welcome. So where's my apron? It's in the kitchen. Let's go. After you, mademoiselle. Chef Wilson. <laughs> 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 Look, I've told you, I'm going to have to come for master classes. <laughs> well, uh, I made a lot of money from this in university. Are you telling me what I know? <laughs> what do you expect? <sighs> I can't there wait to go. dig in. Let's go. Mm, that familiar taste. <laughs> oh my god, listen, your muffins taste just as delicious as ever. Thank you. You're welcome. Why are you staring at me? I mean, it's, it's just your smile. You look as beautiful as ever. I know that look. I recognize that look. Your mind is telling you no, but your heart is telling you yes. And that suggests you listen to your heart because it will lead you home. I can't do this again. Why not, Chloe? Because my heart has been broken too many times to love again. Listen, the more reason you should let me, just let me in. Let me mend your broken heart and, and make up for all the pain that I've caused you. Listen. I love you. I never stopped loving you. And I'm never going to stop loving you. The times we shared back in uni are some of the best moments I've had in my life. And after all that ended, I, I could never love again. And trust me, I tried. It just did not work. And then I realized that my heart wasn't even mine in the first place. It was yours. Look, I've lost you once before. I'd be a fool if I let myself lose you again. I am. Uh, just promise me that you will not hurt me again. Because if you do, I'll never speak to you ever again. Yes, Chloe, I swear to you. I will never hurt you or cause you any harm. I'm going to treat you like the queen that you are. 
I love you. I love you too, Kelly. Are you expecting someone? No. Come in. No, I wasn't expecting you. Hey. Have you forgotten you asked me to come over today? Oh, yeah. That's true, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> May I sit? Oh, yeah, please go ahead, sit. Oh, part of my manners. I'm sorry. Please sit. So, no, are you here for uh, Chloe's delicious muffins? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, Chloe, can I see you in private? There's something important I need to discuss with you. Sure. I also want to tell you something. <laughs> I'll be right back. I love you. I love you too. Let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Um, no, there's, there's no point going to the kitchen. Let's just talk here. Okay. I just came to tell you congratulations. <gasps> Thank you so much, Nora. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Babe, do you want to grab some muffins for him? Right away. I'll grab some muffins for you. They're very delicious. <laughs> Please, sit down, make yourself comfortable. And drinks too. I'll be right back. Um, you know what, I think I'll just, uh, I'll help her out with the, the drinks, all right? We'll be right back. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be right back. Babe! <clears throat> Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, don't your friends on me, yeah. Girl, I wanna be more than just a friend, don't your friends on me, yeah. I wanna be all you need in the man. No, the friends on me. No, no. I'm not the other guys. We go break your heart. No, the friends on me. Yeah. I just to take my time. She be, you know. Me, I no one rush. 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 Girl, is it too much? I've lost her again. It isn't over, Nora. There's still hope. There is no more hope. They are now an item. It doesn't matter. Are they married? I just can't stand the pain of seeing her in another man's arms. You see, I believe that if she's truly yes, she'll come back to you. Have you heard the saying, if you truly love someone, don't be afraid to let them go. If they come back, simply means they are yours. But if they don't come back, it means they were never yours in the first place. And I believe just like her past relationships, this will also come and go. But you need to tell her how you feel. He doesn't deserve her. No one can love her as much as I do. It's okay, now. It's okay. Just be calm, okay? It's okay. Hmm? I need to think. 
you know, I recently picked up some palm reading. <laughs> yeah, so I can literally tell you your future by just looking at You're so silly. First of all, you're gonna have to pick up your Depends on how you do. Thank you. <laughs> you. You're so silly. Oh. Mr. Austin said I should give that to you. Noah. Yes. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because you seem rather off. Married onto my office now. This is not the Noah that I've always known. He's kind of cold. Well, maybe he's going through some personal stuff and he doesn't want to involve you. you know? Yes, he's definitely going through something and I have to help him. I have to be there for him. I mean, he's always there for me. Chilling. Let me have some. Please, I beg you. I just want to be alone. Just allow me to enjoy this snack on my own. Surely you can't be enjoying this snack. Come on, let me take you for lunch. My treat, okay? I'm fine. Noah, what's wrong? I mean, you've been cold and acting strange these days. What's going on? I said I'm fine. No, you're not fine. We've been friends for so long, so I know when something is wrong. So tell me. I am fine. Don't shut me out. Please. I, I care. You're like a brother to me. Now that's the problem. I am like a brother to you. But I don't want to be a brother to you. But you don't want to be friends with me anymore? What did I do? I don't just want to be your friend. I want to be more than just a friend. Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you. Because I love you, Chloe. I have loved you since the first day you set your foot in this company. And that's why I became friends with you immediately. But the first heartbreak I received was when you told me that you were seeing your ex. Even though I was hurt, I still continued being your good friend. I've always been there for you through thick and through thin. But I can't do this anymore. It's better I tell you exactly how I feel and we stop being friends. That to see you in another man's arms. Why I die in silence? Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, lonely friends on me. Yeah. Girl, I wanna be more than just a friend. Lonely friends on me. Yeah. I wanna be all you need in a man. Lonely friends on me. No, no. I'm not the other guys we go break your heart. Lonely friends on me. Yeah. I just. Babe, for the hundredth time, what's the problem? You've been in a foul mood for a while now. What's wrong? Noah said he loves me. That he's been in love with me all this while. Oh, that. Well, I've always known he liked you. You did? Mm-hmm. And how come I didn't see it? Well, obviously because you don't see him in that light. So no matter how caring or loving he is, you are never going to see him as anything more than just a friend. Why can't we just remain friends without him catching feelings? Now I feel sorry for him. <laughs> Babe, it's not your fault. You can't control how people feel towards you. Right? I mean, which man born of a woman would look at this piece of art and not catch feelings for you? 
Stop being on serious yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But listen, <laughs> don't let it bother you, all right? You'll come around. Are you sure? 100%. Take it from a guy. I love you. I love you too, babe. And thanks for bringing light into my heart. And thank you for giving me the privilege and the honor of being your man. I don't take it for granted. Yeah. Now that I know that you're fine, I can go home and sleep peacefully. <laughs> I just feel bad for hurting him. Look, you did not hurt him, right? It's not your fault. I feel like I led him on. You did not lead him on. Look, you cannot blame yourself for his misplaced affection. Look, first of all, you're a beautiful woman and any man would easily fall for you. You cannot blame yourself for that. I'm sure that sooner or later he realize that both of you cannot be anything more than friends and then he'll come around so don't worry yourself about it well i pray he comes around soon sooner rather than later because i really miss his company so wait are you saying that he's better company than i am is that what you're saying stop being silly you just miss <laughs> having him around don't worry about it i'm sure mr austin said i should go through this i report back to him in two hours um, Noah, I just... Why do you rise, Mr. Austin, sending this to you right now? I mean, it's almost break time. I don't know. All right, then. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry, okay? I, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't see you come in. No, no, no. I apologize. So it's totally my fault. I, I was blocking the road. Thank you. Yeah. You're such a perfect gentleman. Thank you. Um, my name is Priska. Okay. Hi. My name is Wilson. It's good to meet you. Same here. Nice to meet you. Um, are you going in to get something to eat? Yes, I actually was. Okay. Do you mind if we go together? I guess, why not? Alright. Alright, let's, let's go. Get that Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, I was about to call you. What took you so long? I'm so sorry, babe. I just I got caught up with some stuff. Oh, I'm starving. Did you um finish the report on this Austin actually? Well, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I want you to look at the report. Yeah, just give me a second. Yeah, so sorry, I got I just um got caught up with something on my phone. So you're getting caught up with things today. I hope you won't get caught up to heaven or <laughs> look at this point I don't even mind. This world has stressed me out a lot. Right now I need a heavenly massage. It's not only a heavenly massage. It's heavenly spa treatments. Take John. How are you holding up? I'm fine now. Although it's tough not always being around her, but I'll be good. Like I said to you earlier, I mean, if she's meant to be here, you guys would definitely be together. Hmm. I just hope that she realizes soon enough that Wilson could never love her as much as I do.
Um, babe, I kind of have to head out. Um, yeah, I have to go out, but I'll, I'll be back shortly. Where are you off to? Yeah, I need to meet up with the client, and I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, where? Yeah. Okay, I'll be back soon, okay? About your... Um, three days. <sighs> I got you lunch, babe. Yes. So ten, yes. Ten boys and ten girls. Of course, we're good to go. We'll have our team ready and we'll send you the proposal and the budget so we can just sign up on it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, That's so thoughtful of you. Oh, come on. You know I'll do anything. Anything at all. Noah. Is everything okay? What was that about? I don't know. But I think he's probably upset seeing us together. Is that why he's acting like he's on his period or something? <laughs> Stop. Well, you we should better get used to seeing us together because we're going to be together forever. Are you sure? Darling, I've never been more sure of anything else in my entire life. I love you. I love you too. So we've got the deal. Yes, I know the hotel. Okay, but I hope it won't take too much time, right? Okay, I'm on my way. I'll see you soon. Chloe, um. you have to come with me now. Why? Why? Why, why am I following you to? Just follow me. Hurry up! Why are we telling Wilson? I think he's going to meet the lady he's cheating on you with. Noah, are you this hell-bent on seeing us break up? Honestly, 
He told me he was going to meet with a client. What kind of useless client is that? The other day, I saw him at a restaurant, laughing and talking to a lady. Was he supposed to be sad while talking? No, you needed to have seen the way they were. They looked all cozy and happy together. Listen, Noah, I know you're not happy seeing us together. But it doesn't change the fact that the lady could be his friend or, or, or his family or relative or something. So you trust him that much? Anyway, today we are going to find out if it's worth your trust. Because I overheard him on a phone conversation with someone saying he was coming to meet them at the hotel. And I'm very sure that it's the same lady I saw him at the restaurant with. You know why you're just being paranoid? I am not being paranoid! My instinct doesn't lie to me. Well, maybe your instincts have lied this time. Alright. We'll find out. Why are you looking for something where there's nothing? Whoever he came to see here is a client. I don't think so. If my instinct tells me that he's having an affair, he definitely is having an affair. Okay, let's go inside and see. I help you? If you don't have anything to say, I also have a nice time with the love of my life. This is not what it looks like. To hear anything you have to say. If I can explain this, alright? I can't believe I let you fool me! Again! Babe, I can explain this. If you give me a chance, I can explain this. Please, this, this is not what it looks like. Please. You fooled me twice. You are the worst human on earth, Wilson. And I don't want to ever see you again. Babe, please just give me a chance to explain. Please, no one, please, could you speak?
Chloe. Chloe, please just just open the door. Let me explain, please. This is this is not what it looks like. Chloe, please, I know you're in there. Just open the door. This is just a, a, a big misunderstanding. Let me just explain to you and you understand, please. Chloe, please, come on. I, I won't hurt you like this. Not, not with our history. Please, just... Just open the door, please. I'm begging you. Wilson has finally gone. Have some water to help. so stupid that I let him fool me the second time. I'm such a fool. Oh, no, don't say that, Chloe. You are not a fool. Wilson is the fool for playing you. Aldous knew that he was not the right man for you. I don't know where I meet these people. I don't know who I have offended. That makes me meet people that treat me in such manner. They treat me like trash. I feel so worthless. Oh, no, come on. Stop saying all this, Chloe. Chloe, you are not worthless. You are very valuable. It's just a pity that you always meet men who trample upon you because they do not know your value. Look, you are an intelligent woman who needs a man that will respect you, that would love and adore you. Chloe, I am that man. Yes, I understand that you're pained. So I'm going to give you time to heal. But I want you to know that I am always going to be here for you. Okay? Thank you. I'm sorry if that I neglected you. It's okay. It's all right. You know, like they say that it's only when we go through the worst that we get to appreciate the best. you need to go to work. I'm sure Mr. Austin will be wondering why we left the office so early yesterday. Mr. Austin can wait. I can't leave you alone in your state. You have to go to work. At, at least tell Mr. Austin something that I'm not feeling well or... or... No, 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 no. I can't. I have to be here with you. Hmm? I insist. Just go. Mm. I'll, I'll be fine. I promise. All right, fine. Uh, so I'll come back after close of work. But Chloe, if you need anything, just call me, okay? Anything at all.
Madam, we have the best thing that will help us. Uh, uh, finish, she's not on seat now. Can you wait in my office, please? It's okay, but please don't take too long. Uh, I'll show you won't waste your time. Okay. Oh, she's not on seat. Um, hi. Uh, Hello. Please, can I can I talk to you real quick, please? Please. Um, Madam, please. Can you wait for me in the office? That's fine. Thank you very much. Listen, Noah. What did you and Chloe saw? It was not what it looked like. Would you just shut your lying mouth or I will close it for you with a punch? Noah, this, this whole thing is just a, a huge misunderstanding. What kind of stupid misunderstanding is that? How do you explain finding you in a hotel room with a naked woman who claims that you are a man? I, I don't even know why she called Oh, please that. save your explanation. Chloe and I are not interested in your lies. But you know what? I am not surprised. Because you have broken a heart before. So it's only natural that you break it again. Look, no, oh, please. No, please just... yourself over this. Look, I understand that you're deeply hurt, but you need to get a hold of yourself. I'm going to quit my job. I can't bear the sight of him anymore. Come on, Chloe, you can't quit your job because of him. You know how much time and expertise you have invested in this company. I can't bear the sight of him any longer. Look, I understand how you feel, but it doesn't mean that you should resign. You know what? I'll talk to Mr. Austin so he should move you away from that office. You and I both know that Mr. Austin won't even listen to that. Besides, I don't even want to be in the same building with him. I I'm going to quit. You know I'm here for you, huh? And I would always... <laughs> Excuse me, I need to take this call. Just some personal issues. Look, Chloe, you cannot quit your job, okay? You know how hard it is to get a job in this country. I've made up my mind. Nothing can stop me. All right. In that case, since you've made your decision, it's fine by me. But you need to know that I am always going to be here for you. Always. Thank you. So, have you had something to eat? No, I'm not hungry. All right, so let me go to into the kitchen and make something delicious for you. I'm not hungry. So, right, you'd enjoy it, okay? Mm. This is the expertise chef going into the kitchen. <laughs> No, don't worry. He's not even worth it. Just, 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 let me... just shut up. Chloe, can you not see that this whole thing is just a setup? A setup? Are you listening to yourself at all? You're just a pathetic liar. 
You know what? I don't blame you. I blame myself for believing you actually loved me. Oh, yes, I do love you. I don't, do. Don't. I... Don't say that to me again. Chloe, please just give me a chance to explain. When I explain to you, you would understand. You should have the decency to get the hell out of his office. Else I'll go straight to the manager's office to tender my resignation. You don't need to resign, okay? You don't need to do that. I I'll resign instead. Yes, yes, yes. He is the one that should leave this company, not you. Because he met you here in this company. It is only right that he leaves this company for you. Listen, Chloe, I am sorry for what you think I did, that I did not do. But I promise you, I did not cheat on you. Not back then when we were in uni, and definitely not with Priska. Uh, please excuse me, I need to take this. Chloe, please just give me a chance to explain. Now, I will never hurt you. Not with our history. Please. What is she doing here? Can, can you imagine? She came here to see Wilson. Come, let's go inside. It's either you give me the money or tell her everything. Tell yes. me what? Don't mind how. She's been asking me how, how she can find Wilson. It's either you double my balance or I'm going to lay her know. Why? Why are you owing her and what is it she needs to tell me? I'll triple whatever it is. Oh, really? That going to give to you. Nice. Okay, so um, he already gave me 200,000 naira out of the 300k he promised to give me. So if you double the money or perhaps triple the money, I'll, you know, let the cut out of the bag. You have a deal. I was at the bar one night waiting for a client. The barman told me that Noah had a job. So I met no one, he told me he wanted me to help him set Wilson up. He told me Wilson was coming to that restaurant, so I pretended to bump into him so we could start a discussion. Knowing Wilson was passionate about photography, he told me to tell him I was looking for a photographer to take me pictures in lingerie from my lingerie line. So I told Wilson and he told me he was a photographer and he could do it. So I told him to meet me in a hotel for the photo shoot. Noah had already told me both of you were following Wilson, so I made it look like we were going to have sex. Wilson and I didn't have sex that day. I just made it, you know, come up that way. Noah. Why? I did it in your best interest. Wilson doesn't deserve you! But you do, right? But Chloe, I love you. I really do. You love me. Yet you do a thing like this. 
You don't deserve to be called my friend. You're wicked and you're selfish. Madam, where is my money? If you touch me again, I'll punch your face now. You cannot get in a dive for me. Get out of here. Which can buy no peace? Eh? Which can buy no I tendered my resignation and I've packed my stuff, so I'm leaving the office for you for good. Please. Wait. I'm honestly sorry. I, I just I just figured out that you were going to take photographs of Prisca in the lingerie at the hotel. I didn't know. No one planned with her to make it look like you both were going to have sex. So just deceive me. I'm sorry. I know you may not want this relationship anymore. But I really just want you to know that I'm sorry. I know everything I've said and done. I'm just glad that you know the truth now. I'm so sorry, Chloe. I was obsessed with you. And so I wanted you to be with me. I feel so ashamed of my actions. I know that you hate me now. I mean, if I was you, I would hate me too. But I want you to know that I am deeply sorry. Is I can't stand this shame. So I'll be the one to resign. Because I can't be around you anymore. If I am, I don't know what next I will do. Goodbye, Chloe. It was really nice meeting you. So hard to sleep, baby. You are always on my mind, and I wish that you could know I want you to be mine, baby. I've been waiting for the right time, waiting for the perfect moment. And if you look into my eyes, you will realize I want more. I don't wanna waste your time. Let me hit the hammer on the nail, girl. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, love the friends on me, yeah 
girl, I wanna be more than just a friend Girl, the friends only, yeah I wanna be all we need in the man Girl, the friends only, no, no I'm not the other guys, we gon' break your heart Girl, the friends only, yeah I just to take my time, she be, you know Be a no one rush, be a no one rush Be a no one rush, be a no one rush Girl, is it too much, yeah If you let me down, girl, is it too much? Be a no one rush, yeah Be a no one rush, be a no one rush See the smile on your face, it's so beautiful, girl Won't you let me touch, won't you let me touch, yeah Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Waiting for the perfect moment And if you look into my eyes You will realize I want more I don't wanna waste your time Let me go straight to the point Girl, I love you, I love you, I love you I love you No defense on me, yeah Girl, I wanna be more than just a friend No defense on me, yeah I wanna be all we need in the man No defense on me, no I'm not the other guys, we go break your heart No defense on me, yeah I chose to take my time, Shay, you know No defense on me, yeah Girl, I wanna be more than just a friend No defense on me